Some students were in a class where they had to make a control system, and I wanted to demonstrate how easy that would be if you had an N-scope. So um, I've got two PWMs coming from the N-scope, and they're controlling an H-bridge, which is powered by four AA batteries. The H-bridge is going to a motor, and the motor is controlling a slide potentiometer with a pulley. So when you turn on the motor, the slide pot moves, and then you can read the position of the, of the motor. The slide potentiometer voltage is read by the N-scope, so we can know where the motor position is. In a Python script, I've created a trajectory that the motor should follow. So it should start at one position, move to another position, and then move back. So in Python, I can read where the motor is and determine where it should be, and then drive the motor towards that position, and then after a while, drive it back again. So this is a standard PID controller. Uh, we'll run it with a very small KP value. So the motor is being told to follow this green trajectory, go from one position to another, then back. Uh, the PID has um, a big enough proportional gain to move it in the right direction, but the small amount of error can't overcome the amount of friction in the motor. So let's see what happens when we increase uh, KP. And we can see the motor definitely snapped to the right position. But when I got there, it had a high velocity, so it oscillated and rang down, uh, kind of like a normal second order system. So I can add a derivative term to my PID controller to uh, try to reduce the overshoot and the oscillation. I'll start with a small amount of derivative gain. And so the motor still snapped to the right position, but there was a little bit of an overshoot. Uh, so let's add a little bit more derivative gain and see if we can eliminate it completely. Uh, so now we've been able to reduce the large overshoot and oscillations. There's still a little bit of something going on, um, but we've been able to demonstrate how easily it is to just write a controller with Python and have it control the real thing using Enscope.